Okay, good. I think we're ready to start. So welcome everybody. It's my pleasure to introduce Alberto Marici, who will talk about connectivity and purity for logarithmic motives. Please. Okay, thank you very much for the invitation to speak at this uh, at this seminar. So uh, I will speak about like uh, uh, my joint work uh, with uh, with Federico Binda uh, from the University of Milan, whose title is Connectivity and Purity for Logarithmic Motives, and uh, most of it you can find it on the uh, on the archive. Okay, so let's start with a bit of notation. We will fix for the whole talk a perfect field and a commutative ring. And uh, uh, we will call um, like uh, SM the category of, uh, of smooth schemes of any type over K. And this uh, like decorated uh, smooth tilde, uh, all the category of these uh, schemes, uh, which are uh, co filtered limit of uh, smooth schemes with a transition map where the transition maps are a tal. So, an example of, of these guys are like the stack uh, of uh, localization and uh, uh, the uh, insidianization. These are like the guys that we are mostly uh, interested in for this, uh, for this decoration. And then if we take now um, a pre-sheaf uh, uh, of lambda modules and we take a gadget there, we will let uh, uh, like f of x to be the uh, co-limit of all this f of x i. Okay, this is just standard. So, uh, first of all, let us um, uh, recall uh, uh, Morales connectivity theorem that we would like to generalize. We will fix uh, like this category of uh, complexes. So it will be the category of uh, unbounded complexes uh, of uh, pre sheaves of lambda modules. So this uh, category comes naturally equipped with the global model structures where weak equivalences are quasi-isomorphism and vibrations are the epimorphism. And co-fibration have the left lifting property. So then uh, uh, we, so we do a decoration of this category. So we take, a, we take a topology and we do a boost field localization with respect to uh, tau hyperdescent. Okay, and this is uh, classical. This is the, um, uh, called the uh, tau local model structure. So whenever I will say that something is uh, tau vibrant for a topology, I mean vibrant in this, uh, in this sense. And recall that um, a map uh, of complexes is a weak equivalence if and only if uh, uh, the uh, shiftification of the map induced uh, on, the, on the cohomology. I will write uh, uh, pi i just uh, to, uh, uh, to be consistent with the uh, notation of, uh, um, of Luri of the, um, uh, this is the map induced on the, on the uh, shift cohomology, on the um, uh, cohomology shifts. So this, uh, uh, this map uh, is an isomorphism of shifts. Okay, so um, once we, we have this, then we can fix um, uh, a smooth scheme uh, uh, X. For example, we can take A1 or P1, and then we can uh, localize uh, furthermore with respect to this class of maps, all the projections, and we obtain what is called the, the uh, tau X uh, local model structure. So, uh, for example, if you take tau to be either the um, uh, et al or the Nisnevich topology and you localize A1, you get as a motopy category the uh, DA, the category of motives without transfers. And if you take P1, this was studied by a UB, and this is like the category of uh, um, tau P1 uh, local complexes. Okay? So, uh, now we will fix uh, from now on the Nisnevich topology. And um, uh, we will stay in the weak, easier situation where our variety has a rational point. Uh, then there is an uh, explicit uh, um, uh, Nisnevich uh, uh, X uh, uh, fiber and replacement. So uh, we consider this object, uh, lambda X red, 
with uh, where uh, like lambda x is the representable shift and the quotient by uh, the um, uh, this is just lambda. Then uh, so we just take like uh, what is left whenever we take out the motive of the point if you want. And uh, then we fix uh, this uh, this functor fib, which is the um, uh, Nisnevich fiber replacement. And uh, for a complex there, we consider uh, uh, this operation phi of f, uh, which is like the mapping cone or the cofiber, if you prefer, of um, uh, the following adjective, you take lambda red of x, you tensor it uh, with the internal ohm. We take here the fiber and replacement. So this is the derived ohm. This has a, an evaluation map to the fiber and replacement of, uh, of F. So this is like the, um, uh, the knees fiber and replacement, as I said. Okay, so this is a functor. And uh, then we take, uh, we take it infinitely many times. So we consider the co-limit of this tower. So the map uh, from phi of F to phi of phi of F. Uh, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And then uh, one can prove that this phi infinity of f uh, um, is a uh, um, nice uh, uh, x five and a replacement of f. Okay. So the map. Uh, so this comes naturally equipped with a map from f. Okay. And we will uh, need like this explicit um, this explicit construction. So uh, let's go with this uh, with the definition. So uh, for a, we fix an integer, and for a complex uh, uh, of, of pre sheaves uh, we will say that it is uh, uh, n connected with respect to the topology. So it, this uh, connectedness depends on the on the topology that we fix, uh, if and only if uh, the uh, shiftification of the uh, homology of C is zero for I smaller or equal than N. Okay, so to fix the ideas, a complex concentrated in degree zero is minus one connected. Okay, so um, the uh, celebrated connectivity theorem, so the first one is of Morel, and then there is an analogous one of uh, Ayub, that says that if uh, C is N connected, then uh, it's uh, uh, A1, uh, needs the localization is again n connected. So a one fiber replacement that I constructed before is again n connected, and uh, the same is the uh, p one uh, analog is again n connected. Okay, so uh, let me just a bit, a little bit recall what is uh, the strategy of such proof. The strategy is basically the same. Uh, I will follow the one that was uh, that was considered by Ayub, since the A1 uh, um, counterpart has uh, like a, a loophole that makes it a little bit easier. So there are two weaker notions. The first one uh, is that uh, you consider a complex to be uh, generically and connected. And you say that uh, uh, this is the case if the uh, homotopy homolo yeah, homology evaluated in eta x is zero for uh, i smaller or equal than n, where eta x is the generic point of a smooth skin. Okay, as I said before, this is uh, in Matilda, and this means uh, the somehow the, um, the stalk. Yeah, and then uh, Ayub introduced this notion of n pre-connected which just means that uh, now the homology pre shift uh, evaluated in X uh, is zero now for uh, I smaller or equal than N minus the dimension of X uh, and for any X uh, in uh, our smooth tilde. Okay, so um, let's make some, uh, uh, some remarks. Uh, the first remark uh, is that B implies A since, uh, um, of course, a generic point is a field, so it has a dimension zero. And uh, uh, if you take uh, C to be unconnected, uh, then uh, its fiber replacement is uh, N pre-connected. 
since uh, uh, now this um, uh, homology here is just like the, um, the hypercomology. And uh, you know that uh, the uh, cohomological dimension uh, of the Nisnevich topology is the same as the cruel dimension. Right? So this dimension here somehow um, compensates with the cohomological dimension. Okay? So then, uh, like the first uh, thing that you need to do is to somehow strengthen this, uh, this second uh, point that I just, uh, uh, that I just uh, explained, just uh, to uh, you assume this is n pre connected and you want to show that its fiber replacement is n pre connected. And this is again uh, a bit standard. And uh, again, like the, um, uh, the main point here is that uh, uh, the cruel dimension is the same as the cohomological um, uh, dimension. And this somehow like uh, by, um, by the construction that, uh, that we need before means that if I take a complex, which is N pre-connected, then again, uh, taking uh, this uh, phi C will be again N pre-connected. This now uh, also depends on the fact that the uh, dimension of the guy that uh, we are localizing with, so here X will be either A1 or P1 uh, is one, right? Because now, when you take the internal ohm, you will lose one, uh, one, um, kind, one dimension on pre-connectedness because uh, you, you need to even out the dimension of the, of the variety. And then by tensoring it, we, you, you recover it, but from the fact that now it, this guy will be minus one connected. So these two even out, but only because the dimension is one, okay? And this somehow works more in general for, uh, for every, somehow for every curve variational point. Um, and now we, so we conclude that uh, if, uh, if now C is uh, N connected, then uh, uh, the, what we wrote like phi infinity of C is N pre-connected. Uh, but now, as we said before, this implies that phi infinity of C is generically N connected. Okay. And so, uh, this is like good, we're halfway there and it, it, this is more or less formal. Now the, um, uh, the technical input, like the, where we actually need to work and use the fact that we are localizing A1 and P1 is the purity result. Uh, so purity is, um, uh, says that uh, if uh, C is uh, uh, A1 uh, and is local, so it is vibrant, or uh, is P1 and is vibrant. So the first one is uh, Morel and the second one is Ayub. Then this means that uh, um, this map from uh, the shifification uh, of the homology into uh, the generic point is injective. And once we have this, we can conclude that from uh, the fact that this generically unconnected, we can conclude unconnectedness. And I want to stress that this purity result is what is really like difficult here. So, uh, in our work, what we did was to generalize these two uh, log motifs. So uh, let me uh, remind what, uh, what log motifs are. So in, our, in my talk, I will only consider the category of uh, smooth log smooth uh, uh, schemes where, um, so what are these guys? So you can somehow forget the fact that they are, uh, they are log schemes. So in this case, we have that uh, uh, the underlying scheme of X uh, is smooth. And uh, this uh, uh, partial X will be a log structure. And uh, the, um, the important feature is that uh, its support is a simple normal crossing device. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, Binda Park and Oswald defined uh, uh, like, uh, some notions of, of Grothendieck topology. You take a, a topology on smooth schemes, uh, you take this uh, ST, S tau, which is the strict topology where uh, uh, like covers uh, will be uh, covers like this, such that the cover on the underlying scheme is a tau cover. And uh, uh, the log structure on U is the log structure induced by X. Okay. And uh, then you have uh, this uh, uh, dividing um, tau topology, which is just the strict topology plus uh, like um, uh, certain kind of blow-ups, 
with center contained in the support of the log structure. Okay, these are called uh, deep covers in, uh, in the paper of the Park and Osphere. So uh, the theorem that you're gonna use is the fact that if you take um, a smooth log smooth scheme, then uh, this uh, dividing Nisnevich cohomology is just uh, uh, the co-limit over all uh, these uh, uh, div uh, blow ups of the uh, usual strict Nisnevich cohomology. Here. And so from, uh, from this theorem, uh, we can deduce again that the cohomological dimension, for example, of the dividing Nisnevich topology is the same as the crude dimension of the underlying scheme. And this is again good because uh, uh, from here, okay, we do the same story. Uh, we, uh, we take like this uh, dividing this navigable topology as before to define the model structure. We write this, uh, this closed box um, that is uh, our uh, scheme uh, P1 with uh, the um, log structure induced by the divisor point at infinity. So we do our boost field localization as before with, uh, with respect to, to these maps as we did uh, uh, in the A1 and P1 case. And uh, this, uh, this gives us like this uh, cube uh, Denis uh, or Denis cube, well, uh, local model structure. So uh, the, we have like, again, the same, um, the same construction gives us this explicit fiber replacement uh, by, by considering this, uh, this construction, okay? This uh, fib that I'm writing here is the, again, the Dean is uh, uh, fiber replacement, okay? And then, uh, okay, after uh, this construction, we can uh, announce our connectivity theorem, which is the, the result uh, that I want to speak about today is uh, again the same story. You take um, uh, a complex of pre uh, on uh, on log smooth, uh, smooth log smooth schemes, uh, which is uh, uh, n connected uh, with respect to uh, the dividing Nisnevich topology. Uh, then uh, its um, its fiber replacement will be again n connected. Okay. Well, uh, then uh, like the um, the strategy of the proof will somehow follow the steps of, of the proof of, uh, that, I, that I announced before. So we have this fact that uh, uh, the cohomological dimension of the dividing Nisnevich topology is the same as the crude dimension. And uh, um, the fact that the dimension now of uh, P1 is one, which is the underlying scheme of our cube, so uh, we follow the first step and we get somehow by a formal argument, it's just, just formal, that if you take a um, complex which is n connected, then this uh, phi infinity C will be again generically n connected. So in particular, we will get for free, I mean, almost for free, that this uh, uh, pi i of uh, uh, phi infinity C evaluated in uh, uh, eta x uh, with a trivial log structure uh, will be zero for uh, i smaller than n, okay? And so the, um, the result that uh, will let us conclude with our connectivity will be this, uh, the purity. And again, we will uh, use the fact uh, that we are on, uh, on P1, so on this cube very, very much. Uh, so the, the result is that uh, uh, this, uh, this induced map uh, is, uh, is injective. And uh, so let me uh, sketch a bit the, um, the proof of this, uh, of this nice result. So um, the, first of all, we want to, to prove uh, um, a stronger result with the uh, strict Zariski shifification in, uh, in the following uh, like, uh, special cases. So uh, the first special case was when the, uh, the log structure is trivial. And uh, this will follow from uh, the classical construction. And the, um, uh, the second case 
is when uh, the dimension of X uh, is one and uh, uh, the support of our log structures are uh, um, rational points. And this follows um, uh, from the fact that uh, this is locally uh, our cube. So we can somehow reconstruct, uh, um, reconstruct the, this inclusion from uh, the cube invariance. Okay, and then, so once we have this, uh, we can uh, uh, finish our proof with, uh, with a double induction, right? We have dimension one, so we can grow there. And here we have a trivial log structure and you can increase uh, now, the, now that. So uh, we go by induction uh, on the uh, dimension of X and uh, the number of components uh, of uh, uh, the, um, uh, the support of this, uh, which will be like the one plus 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 the end. So, um, so from now on, since we want to prove a result on, uh, uh, on this Navich uh, shiftification, we can assume that our underlying scheme is local and Cilian. And um, so the, uh, I mean, the key observation here is that uh, uh, if you take now a regular point uh, of an Encelian local scheme, uh, then uh, uh, the map uh, the map induced on the uh, on the residue field has a section. So this is uh, apparently a well known result uh, that we did not find in the literature, but it's a. Uh, uh, it's extremely useful in this case because, uh, uh, as I said before, we have proved it uh, in the case of dimension one only when uh, uh, the, um, the support were, uh, uh, was, um, was given by a rational point. And in this case that we have an Encelian local scheme, well, this is an Encelian local DVR, so uh, the support is either trivial, and so we have it, or uh, is uh, uh, supported on the closed point, which is rational. So this, this, is, uh, this is proved. And now, well, with the, um, uh, with the trivial log structure, which I said, uh, we proved it before in general. And, uh, and this, is again, uh, this is again known. So we can proceed with the induction step. So in, the, um, in this case, we, get, we let our, uh, uh, our boundary to be d1 plus dn. And we fix the generic point of the last component. And we observe the following fact that uh, you take an, uh, an open set. So you take this limit over all these, uh, these open schemes that contain this uh, generic point. Uh, then this is just uh, um, by, by definition, uh, this uh, uh, localization here. Notice that it is just a localization, it's not in Cilian. And then uh, you get the uh, log structure, the pullback of the log structure. So this is a local DVR, which is the localization of, um, uh, of an Encelian local scheme. So uh, this guy is uh, uh, supported on rational points. Uh, by the key observation. So uh, we conclude by, by what we proved before that since uh, we proved it for the Zariski shiftification that this map is again injective. Since now the generic point of this guy is the same as the generic point of, um, of X. So uh, what's, what is left to prove is that uh, uh, we have an injective map here for uh, uh, U that uh, uh, intersects uh, the N on a dense open scheme. So that this is dense, okay? Since it must contain now the, um, the generic point of the N. And then like since filtered collimits are exact in the category of lambda modules, we, we will conclude that the map from here to here is injective. 
Okay, so the last ingredient to prove this is the uh, Giesin sequence of, um, of Binda Park and Osver. So we will define, uh, so it's like a special kind. So in this, in this kind of, in this world of log schemes, uh, for the Giesin sequence, we will not uh, consider an open sub scheme, but we will consider a, um, a log scheme with, where the log structure is richer. So uh, the open uh, here is just the, the uh, uh, so the um, uh, log scheme with, where with more uh, more um, components. So here we define this guy, which is just uh, uh, d1 plus 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 dn minus one. Uh, I guess that here there is a typo. I think this should be like this. And uh, uh, so we do the same for uh, now for u minus. And uh, so the um, the cofiber now of uh, of the uh, no, no, sorry, I was, uh, I was wrong. It was correct before, I guess. Yeah. This, no, mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the map from, uh, uh, from the open. So this, this, guy, this guy has like more components. So this is uh, X uh, uh, D1 plus 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 DN. And this is X uh, D1 plus 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 DN minus one. So this is the open inside here. And the cofiber is the uh, motivic tone space of the normal bundle, where the uh, this tone, motivic tone space is uh, considered in the in the category of log uh, uh, of log motifs. And the same uh, you we have the same uh, the same construction for uh, u and u minus. So uh, now from uh, from here we get the we get the, the actual construction of the of the tom space where uh, um, we have the motive of uh, uh, dn cross p1 and the motive here of dn okay where uh, we write here dn for the uh, log scheme dn with uh, the uh, divisor given by the one plus 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 dn minus one uh, intersected with dn so this is again uh, um, simple normal crossing divisor on the N. And I want to stress that this is again in Cilian log. Okay. So once we have this, uh, this uh, uh, like whole construction, we can uh, um, somehow uh, consider, uh, um, uh, deduce the, um, the purity from uh, like all these pieces. And uh, so first with, uh, with the induction on, uh, uh, on N, we conclude the, the purity on X minus. And the induction on the dimension of X, we conclude the purity on the N. And, uh, uh, and finally, we, we have like the last, uh, uh, the last piece that we need to consider is the N cross P1, but this is just uh, like uh, internal OM P1 uh, C. And this is again, uh, uh, Denise cube vibrant. So uh, we can, uh, we can use our induction hypothesis on the dimension now here, and we conclude that uh, the n cross p1 to the n intersected with u cross p1 is injective. And so once we have all of these various pieces, we can conclude purity for the, for the whole scheme, prove purity, and then deduce uh, connectivity. Okay, so uh, since I still have one minute, I will uh, conclude briefly. So that uh, uh, easily from, uh, from the connectivity theorem, we will deduce uh, um, like almost uh, for free that uh, if, uh, if a complex is now uh, local, then also it's truncation will be, will be local. And so uh, well, with this, the functor that uh, forgets transfer Uh, gives the same result uh, in the category of um, uh, log, uh, log smooth correspondences, which is an, an analog of the category of, um, uh, of correspondences of Wojewski in, uh, in the log world. And this functor that forgets transfer is exact and conservative. So uh, this allows us to deduce the same, uh, the same property on the, on the truncations the truncations in, in, this, uh, in this category. 
So uh, from, uh, from here, we deduce our, our theorem that uh, our categories of, of log motives uh, have a homotopy structure. Uh, whose hearts are the categories of uh, uh, sheaves with or without transfers uh, such that uh, uh, the cohomology is the same as the cohomology on X cross cube. Like analogously to uh, the case of, um, of motives uh, and the case of P1 uh, local objects considered by, by Ayub. And uh, so these hearts are growth in the Kabilian categories. And this inclusion has a left and a right adjoint. And so moreover, for free from, uh, from our purity theorem, we deduce that uh, uh, for every object in the heart, uh, this map is injective. And uh, the, the analog statement for, for reciprocity sheaves, which are very close to, uh, to these guys was uh, very hard to, to deduce. It was a, uh, theor a very hard theorem of, of Shuji site. So, and moreover, finally, then I, I conclude that uh, the functor uh, defined by Binda Park and Ost were from the usual category of motives to the category of log motives is the exact. And it induces a, a fully faithful functor now from the hearts. From, so the, um, the category of, uh, of usual motives embed in the, in the heart of our, uh, of our T structure. In the, the, the embedding is actually exact and fully faithful. So since I am uh, already over time, I think uh, I will stop here. Excellent, Alberto. Thanks a lot. Okay, we have time for a few questions. So can you use uh, your argument to uh, the stable homotopy category? Uh, to the stable homotopy category, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't thought about this, but uh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I have to think about it. That's a good question. Okay. Because the, in this case, we don't have, uh, we don't have cancellation. In that, that would somehow be for free. But without cancellation, there should be some argument to use, I think. Okay, so feel free to jump in with a question. Oh, may I ask uh, the questions? Uh, firstly, can you say, uh, 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 do you hear me? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, thank uh, you. Uh, 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 firstly, can you say about uh, cosmological dimension for dividing topo topology separating separately from uh, Nisnevich one? Uh, what's it? Uh, so, in, in you mean in general? So, in for for smooth log smooth scheme, the yes, the, yes, for, for, look, for smooth for uh, smooth log schema. Uh, so, you say what is, uh, I will add, the, I will add the new page afterwards. So, if I understand correctly, you're asking what is the cohomological dimension of the dividing Nisnevich cohomology, right? Uh, oh, yeah, for the for dividing topology, can we ask and say what is it? Uh, ah, for, for this dividing topology, with, just with this, uh, with the dividing covers? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess that on, so in general, Probably Duzong knows better than me, but I think this, in general, it should be bounded by the rank of the of the log structure. Oh, and sorry, <laughs> what's it? Uh, so, what's, what's the rank? So, in in the, in the case of a smooth scheme, so you get this, uh, and uh, this support uh, is the one plus 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 the n. 
Yes. And so uh, the rank in this case will be. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess that that this this should come in. Uh, uh, should be yes. in, uh, like in a considered, and uh, so since in uh, for non-smooth schemes, uh, this the the bound on the cohomological dimension also includes this. Okay. So roughly speaking, you have the induction for Nisnevich cohomological dimension and uh, dividing cohomological dimension. Possibly, I can think about your argument in such a way. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, yeah, not really, because uh, in this case, like the the dimension, the uh, cohomological dimension of the dividing Nisnevich is. Uh, in, is is just the, the dimension of the scheme, right? I am I am I'm doing the induction, yeah. Probably. There's also something in the chat about yes, yes, I, I see, I see. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, as, as Federico says, if you um if you work with uh, with a different basis than the um the uh, the cohomological dimension is different. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, and may I ask uh, uh, also one question? Uh, uh, okay, let's take uh, um, log schema and assume that uh, smooth log schema and assume that there is a um, embedding into a smooth log schema with a uh, projective underlying schema. Let's consider that we have overfilled and let's consider such an embedding that for the second log schema, the underlying schema is projective. So we can say that it is proper pair. Uh, and uh, now uh, the question is, uh, if we take a point inside the first one, inside the smaller one, which is not necessarily proper, and uh, consider its uh, um, um, uh, infinitesimal neighborhood in dividing Nisnevich topology, if I can um, pronounce this correctly, uh, if I can say this correctly, what is difference? What is neighborhood in the subschema and what is neighborhood in the computation? Are this the, the same or different? Um, Sorry, maybe it will be I'm, I'm not sure if I am the right person to ask this question to, oh. <laughs> because oh. yeah, I, so basically it depends on the, uh, or it depends also on the log structure, right? Because so if you are, uh, if you take a, a neighborhood like outside of the log structure, it's just Denise Navich. If you are inside the log structure, you have, uh, uh, you have to consider also blow ups. Okay, maybe I can ask in more particular uh, case this. If we take a, such a proper pair, I mean, uh, log schema with uh, proper, uh, with projective underlying schema, and now we take the difference with the boundary. So we take open subschema with such that boundary is empty now. Uh, we consider this being embedded with log structure with empty boundary. And uh, for this case, <laughs> can, we, can we say what is, what is neighborhood of a point in the in the in one scheme and in another, uh, are they the same? Uh, I, for, I mean, stokes dividing is named stokes of a uh, pre-shift uh, at some point uh, inside uh, the open subscheme. Oh, they, okay, yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you in, the, in this case, uh, they, they should be the same. Oh, because yes, thank you. Very the, much. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, I understand, but uh, but in general, it's more complicated. Uh, General is more complicated. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the questions. I think we should thank Alberto again for his nice talk.